An ammunition production line is a complex manufacturing process designed to produce various types of ammunition for firearms. The process involves a series of stages that transform raw materials into finished ammunition products that are ready for use by shooters or military personnel. The first stage of the ammunition production line is the preparation of the raw materials. The raw materials used in the production of ammunition include brass, lead, gunpowder, and primers. The brass is formed into casings, the lead is molded into bullets, and the gunpowder and primers are mixed to create the propellant. The raw materials must be carefully measured and mixed to ensure consistency in the final product. Once the raw materials have been prepared, they are moved to the next stage of the production line, which is the assembly of the ammunition components. The brass casings are loaded with the appropriate amount of gunpowder and the lead bullets are inserted into the casings. The primers are then inserted into the base of the casings and the ammunition is sealed. Building a rocket is a complex and technically challenging process. That involves many different stages and components. Here is a general overview of the process. Design. The first step in building a rocket is to design it. This involves determining the size, shape, and materials of the rocket. Engineers will use computer simulations and mathematical models to test the design and make sure it is stable and safe. Propulsion. Rockets need a source of propulsion to lift off the ground and reach orbit. Most rockets use a liquid or solid fuel which is burned to produce a high-pressure gas that propels the rocket forward. The engine is a critical component of the rocket, and it must be designed and built to withstand extreme temperatures, pressures, and forces. The payload is the object or objects that the rocket is carrying. This could be a satellite, a spacecraft, or even a human crew. The payload must be designed to withstand the forces of launch and the harsh conditions of space. The rocket structure must be strong enough to withstand the forces of launch and flight, but also lightweight enough to maximize fuel efficiency. Engineers use materials such as aluminum, titanium, and carbon fiber to build the rocket's frame. Rockets are equipped with avionics systems that control the rocket's trajectory, communicate with the ground and monitor the health of the rocket systems. These systems are critical for ensuring a successful launch and mission. Launching a rocket is a complex and dangerous process that requires careful planning and coordination. The rocket must be transported to the launch site, assembled, fueled, and tested before it can be launched. Weather conditions and other factors can also impact the launch schedule.
Building a rocket is a highly specialized process that requires expertise in many different areas, including engineering, physics, materials science, and computer science. It can take years or even decades to design and build a new rocket, and the process requires a significant investment of time, money, and resources. The SA-1 Growler, also known as the S-4 Oa Triumph, is a long-range surface-to-air missile system developed by Russia's Almaz Central Design Bureau. It is considered to be one of the most advanced air defense systems in the world and has been deployed by the Russian military since 2007. The S-400 system consists of multiple components, including a mobile radar system, a command and control center, and various types of missiles. The system is capable of detecting and tracking multiple targets simultaneously and can engage a wide range of airborne threats, including aircraft, unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles. The missile factory that produces the S-400 system is located in Nizhny Novgorod, a city in western Russia. The factory is operated by the Almaz Anti-Air Defense Concern, which is responsible for the design, development, and production of Russia's air defense systems. The factory is one of the largest and most advanced missile production facilities in the world. It has a total area of over 330,000 square meters and employs thousands of workers. The factory uses advanced manufacturing technologies, including robotic systems and computer-controlled machinery, to produce the s system and other air defense systems. The production process for the S-400 system is highly complex and involves multiple stages. The first stage is the production of the missile components, which are manufactured to very precise specifications using advanced materials and processes. The components are then assembled into missiles which undergo extensive testing and quality control checks.
once the missiles are assembled and tested. They are integrated into the S4O system, which is then tested as a whole. The system is tested in a variety of scenarios to ensure that it is capable of operating effectively in different environments and against a range of threats. Overall, the SA-1 Growler S-400 Triumph missile system and the factory that produces it are key components of Russia's air defense capabilities. The system's advanced capabilities and the factory's sophisticated manufacturing processes make it a potent weapon in Russia's arsenal and a significant threat to potential adversaries. <laughs>